Babs is back. What is going on, guys? Babs is here. Um, it's been a while. Um, pretty much been to, uh, semi-retired from the game. Uh, new hospital, new responsibilities, all that good stuff. But, um, that doesn't mean that I don't stop and check my messages. And so, this is what I've been seeing in the message section lately. Uh, Scott, one message is saying he's lost on the numbers. Um, and where should I aim for the pin? Um, Aisha said she didn't understand the divisors, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, I think there was another message somewhere. Uh, Bow Wow uh, was saying something about the divisors as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can't help everybody understand what exactly is going on um, with the messages and everything. So right here, I got uh, something from Bow Wow. And he's basically saying, trying to follow the number, but doesn't understand what the putting numbers represent whenever I'm doing my calculator. So I put myself on Beth page right here and I have a stopwatch out and I have the calculator out right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm gonna go in detail on what the aim numbers represent and what the divisors represent. So let's go back to this. So let's say you have this view right here and this is the reverse view. I actually took pictures of this to understand what's going on. So if I click the flag with my finger, there's a line here, there's a grid here, there's a line here, there's a grid here, so forth and so on. So let's go to our pictures real quick. So here's my picture that I just took and these are the aim numbers for those lines. So as you can see, the first grid line is 10. The second full grid, as you can see, this is one full grid right here, is 15. And then every half grid after that is 7.5. So 15 and 7.5, 22 and a half, 30, 37 and a half, 45, 52 and a half, and 60. So forth and so on. So as I said, this would be 10 for, through the first line, and I move it again. And that's 15, 22 and a half, 30, 37 and a half, 45, 52 and a half, and 60 would be four full grids. And you say, well, where does that come into play? Well, that comes into play right here. Let me blow this up. So this is right here are the numbers that represent those. So we're gonna type all that in real quick right here. So it works out to, boom, Thirty-seven and a half, forty-five, fifty-two and a half, and sixty. So when you're looking at the aim numbers right here in this final aim section, these are the numbers that are the base points for that. Now, people are asking, what the hell do I do with the divisor? These numbers underneath the word divisors don't have any relevance. They were just used to calculate the percentages. So when it comes to divisors, in this manner right here, I took another picture, and these are the divisors. So 50% is 10, is the same as 10. 100% is 15, 150 is 22 and a half. So again, when you move back here, this is half a grid, so that's 50%. 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. So when you're going into the spreadsheet, now you're looking at it like so. So we got 50% right there, 100%, 150, 200, so forth and so on. That's, that's how that works percentages equally. So I look here first, I get a number in my head, and then I look here at the percentages. So now let's go ahead and take this into action and we'll kind of give you guys a sense of what we're looking at, what we're looking for, all that good stuff. So, here we go. All right, so I put myself here on Pebble Beach number one. We're on 12 grains, I got 11 foot putt down two inches, 
and we've got all this typed in. So 11 foot putt down two inches and I'm switching cameras here and now I'm just looking at what the dots are doing and which dot looks like the average of all the dots. So as you can see, this dot right here is moving the fastest, but the rest of these are moving pretty consistent. So I'm going to check the speed of the rest of these dots in this manner right here. And so I'll take this out, grab the flag, one, two, three, and let go. And when these dots finish, that's when I'm gonna hit the stopwatch. So I get 4.5. So we'll type in 4.5 in the appropriate box. Boom. And so now you say, okay, well, here's where I get confused about where to aim. So it's a downhill putt, correct? Downhill putt. So we're looking at downhill, which is roughly 19. Now, where is 19? 19 is in between 15 and 22 and a half. So that would be roughly in between this full grid here. When I click on the flag, this full grid and this line right here. This is 15, this is 22 and a half. So we're somewhere in between here on the aim. Now, where are we in terms of percentage? We're in between 100 and 150. So what two numbers are in between 100 and 150? 107 and 133. That's how I coordinate. So I look here, find that number. And again, this is all done in my head because I've been doing this for so long. But 19 is in between these two numbers which again, if you remember from the pictures, are right here. So this, this, this picture right here is always in my head. It's just natural for me now. And then I look at the percentages, 100 and 150. Then I look at the two percentages that are in between those base numbers, and then I compare them. So let's look at 100, 107 first off. So that's 100 right there. So I'm gonna look at 107, and I'm gonna say, does that line look a little low? It does, because it's coming off really sharp at the beginning and it's not gonna finish. So let's go ahead and look at 133. And I say 133 looks a lot better. And so that's all I'm doing in my head is I'm choosing what two percentages to use, oh, not good. What two percentages to use as my aim decision and then I make a final decision based off of what I see. You know, and you improve your putting eye. You improve what you're seeing by what the green is doing and what the ball will naturally will do. So I switch to 30 scale. We're looking at about 25% on the 30 scale. So I'm gonna hit this roughly 25% with a misting. Got the misting. And we're in the hole. And so that that's that's how I that's how I play that. Um, it, it's just, you know, wow, I made my first putt <laughs> after about two months of not playing. <laughs> Hilarious. But anyway, that's the thought process that's going on in my mind, um, throughout all this. Um, so, you know, not really going to worry about, uh, this shot right here. <laughs> But you, you got to get comfortable with the numbers, you know, what you're seeing, what you're using, um, and then go from there and, and build on it, per se. So this is probably just going to be like a grid of aim, and then I'll just do like a, almost a full nine iron, if I can remember how to hit the ball. And we're in this ballpark, I would say. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we got heartbeats. Don't go in. <laughs> Don't go in. <laughs> but anyways, we're in practice mode right now. So let's just say I put the ball somewhere over here. Not really worried about score right now. We're just trying to utilize what's happening with this uh, spreadsheet. All right. So here we're back at it. Get this bad boy out. And we'll do this again real quick. 7.3. Down 0.4. Cool, I'm gonna get rid of that. So go to the reverse view, and I'm counting on this side, so I'm right in a position where I wanna be. And I'm looking at the dots at first, and I always just look at the dots, say, okay, so these are pretty damn slow. So I'm just gonna count the dots in this grid right here. This is a little faster, and this is a little, so I'm gonna count this one right here because it looks like the average. So one, two, three, start. I want to know what this dot is doing right there. Bam. 
again, 4.5, 4.6. We'll just leave it as 4.5 because it's fun. Again, I look at 10, 10 and 54%. So that's 10. And I say, okay, you know, is that ball gonna dive off? It looks like it's gonna dive off a little. So I'm gonna switch it to that, 21%. Slight misting. And there we go. So that's all I'm doing. You know, I'm saying, okay, I found 10. 10 was 50%. The next closest divide percentage is 54%. And you got to understand that it's downhill. And so that's exactly what I do. I look at that number, one, two, three. That's all I do in my mind. I think 10, okay, 10 is 50%. I go straight down to my divisors and I find what percentage is close to 50%. And then from there, I make a mental adjustment because it is downhill. There were sharper dots at the beginning of the green, and then I need to account for that. And here we are on Wolf Creek number one. Uh, I'm gonna do one final putt, um, 14 down 0.4. So I typed all that in already, and we're gonna go to the stopwatch and just give you an idea of what's happening with this putt right here. As you can see, in this grid, the dots are moving much quicker than the dots are moving over here. So what you have to do, I want to know what the dots are moving where this white line is passing through. But there are no dots moving where the white line is passing through because there's a black grid line here. So I have to hold this to let me know what's happening. So in that case, I'm going to hold it and then see what those dots are doing in that manner. So I'm going to go one, two, three and hold it. And as those dots move across, I'm gonna wait, bam, right there, 5.2 seconds. So we type in 5.2, we're looking at our numbers, so we got downhill of 15, almost 16. So again, 15 is 100%. I'm looking at what percentage is right above 100, that's 102. So I'm gonna go here, that's 100%, that's roughly 102. And now I just wanna read the green with my eyes. The dots are moving a little quicker at the beginning, so I'm gonna add a, a touch more to it just to be safe. And now we're looking at roughly 36, 37% on a 30 scale, right in this ballpark there with the misting. Got the misting, ball floats. And we're in the hole. And, and, and I know it's, it's taking a little longer for me to do this, but all this usually happens in my head, so I do it very quickly. So again, breaking all this down for you, it, it's pretty much just getting comfortable with what you're seeing is, is the main goal here. Um, and that's what we're looking for. So as I type all this in, you can kind of use this in your spreadsheet version, and it'll give you a sense of what you're trying to accomplish. So... Type everything in, get your dot speed, and then, you know, figure out if it's uphill or downhill. And once it's downhill, I look at 15. 15 is closest to right there, which is the closest percentage is 100. So I chose 102. And then I add a little more just because experience tells me the ball's going to move more than I think because that's the nature of the Wolf Creek Green. So hope this kind of clears up the divisor portion of what's happening. Again, these numbers right here don't mean anything in terms of aim at all. It's just these percentages right here in conjunction with what aim box you pick on the JC Sneed version. So again, aim box number, choose which one is closest or in between. And then from there, choose a percentage that closely resembles what those two numbers represent. And then you find your percentage down at the bottom and train your eyes to see which one you see best and then work on it. As you get better at this, you'll slowly start to see patterns where you can pick up, you know, oh, this aim looks a little good, but I think I need five more percent. So, Try that kind of thing, and uh, let me know how it works. All right, guys? So that's Babs. Um, sorry it's been so long. I've just uh, been busy at the hospital. But uh, I hope everybody is um, having a great day out there on the links. And I will uh, hopefully see you all real soon. All right? Take care. See you all.